Nicola Sturgeon was grilled by Scottish Labour leader Anas Sawa over the decision by energy regulator Ofgem to hike the price cap to a record £1,971 for a typical household. Anas Sawa challenged Nicola Sturgeon to back proposals for a one-off windfall tax on the profits being made by oil and gas companies, following news that Shell has announced profits of more than US$19 billion, US dollars, £14 billion. Pounds. Mr. Sawa criticized SNP MPs who voted against proposals for a windfall tax in the Commons on Tuesday. He said, this is a government that would rather play politics with the cost of living crisis rather than take the action using the powers they have, a government lacking ambition and failing to use this parliament, a government that stands with energy companies making £27,000 a minute and not with people struggling to pay their bills. They have refused to use the powers of this parliament to prop up winter fuel payments, they have refused to back Labour's proposals on a windfall tax on energy companies, and they have refused to stop rises to rail fares and water charges. Ms Sturgeon replied, I am not opposed to oil and gas companies making a contribution because their profits are rising. I am not opposed to that, I am simply saying these approaches should be fair and equitable. That is the point I'm making, and I'm also making the basic point that I don't have the power over that. We've actually acted ahead of other governments to try to deal with the cost of living crisis, and particularly the energy cost crisis. The winter support fund that we have recently established £41 million in total, including £10 million to help people are struggling to pay fuel bills, including access to top-up vouchers, better support for those in remote and rural areas. £6 million for third sector partners so that they can directly support low-income families, and £25 million of flexible funding to help local authorities support people in financial insecurity. Following the Chancellor's announcement, Scottish Conservative finance spokeswoman Liz Smith said, Rishi Sunak and the UK government have taken a big step toward tackling the cost of living crisis with these measures. Now the SNP must act urgently. The new money for Scotland must be passed on to local councils and the tax cut matched pound for pound. 